Roberto Monaco here with the Cairo Speaking Company and Influenceology. And today I have Dr. Ross McDonald all the way from Edinburgh. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Very well, indeed. Thanks, Roberto. Yourself? Very good. Very good. I'm so happy that you're here today. Uh, Dr. Ross, uh, he's in charge of putting this amazing event in Europe called uh, Edinburgh Lectures. I've actually been one time in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. Is my pronunciation okay, Edinburgh? I love it. It's doing okay, right? You're doing okay. You're doing well, you're doing well. You're doing well. <laughs> and he has an amazing, amazing event for chiropractors coming up uh, on June twelfth. Uh, and the cool thing about the event is that both in person and online. So if you live in the U.S. and you don't want to fly, then you can watch online. That's the good thing. Absolutely. Right? That's the good thing. Absolutely. So, uh, Dr. Ross, what is the story? I know you guys have been doing, I think, seventeen years. So this is the 16th year this year. 16th year? Yeah. yeah. 16th yeah so what's the story behind the event, Edinburgh Lectures? So um, originally it started. So my wife and I are both chiropractors. My wife's an Australian graduate, and, and obviously I graduated in the UK. And we used to travel across the globe when we were first married, travel across the globe, go and see some you know amazing conferences in the States, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. And then, of course, we started having children, and it was a little bit more difficult to, to travel, although we did kind of still pack up and, and travel, but it was a little bit more difficult to do as much travel. So we decided that it was about time we started bringing an event to Scotland. So it started off by um, just, you know, once a year, we bring over some, some great speakers from, you know, all over the globe, particularly the States and Canada, of course. Uh, and then um, it kind of evolved into something that became a little bigger uh, in the sense that we then um, started the project to develop a chiropractic um, school in Scotland. So what we use now is the Edinburgh Lectures, which was originally just, you know, an event organized by my wife and I, and we'd have a great time hanging out with great people and great speakers, um, has now evolved into um, our kind of main um, fundraising event to, to raise funds for us developing this chiropractic school in Edinburgh, which we're in the process of doing, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be ready to accept our first students in either September 2023 or into the early part of, sorry, September 2022 or into the early part of September 2023. So we tried to cover you know, the main things that, were, that, that are in, in, in chiropractic science, the art, philosophy of chiropractic, communication skills, business skills, you know, all the things that people need in practice to allow them to, to have influence uh, and be influential in their communities and also to uh, allow us to take that message of health and healing to, uh, uh, you know, to our communities. So you're planning to, the school is planned to be live next year, you said? Fingers crossed. That's amazing. I didn't, I didn't even know that's amazing. Yeah, pandemic and COVID permitting. So we're, we're still targeting September 2022. But I love it. I love it. So when you support the event, supporting a chiropractic school. Absolutely. All, all the money goes into, once our costs are taken off, goes into the into And the it's going to be in Edinburgh? In Edinburgh, absolutely. So uh, and uh, everybody will have a nice warm welcome to come to Edinburgh when you're allowed to come into Scotland. So you'll be all, we'll give you a warm welcome to Edinburgh. I love that. So I noticed that uh, the event this year on June 12th, by the way, guys, for those who are watching or watching the recording, there's a link below here on the, the video you can go to. And also there's a link below here, uh, chiropracticlectures.com and get your tickets. I noticed that the, the theme this year is adjust and thrive. Why, why you guys chose that theme? I think, um, Roberto, it's been particularly pertinent this year. As we kind of talked about before, we've been very fortunate in, in the UK that chiropractors as a statutory regulated healthcare professional have been allowed to continue to practice all the way through you know, various lockdowns and through the pandemic. But it's also become apparent just how important what we bring to healthcare, you know, through our adjustment, through the power of our hands and healing, what we bring to our communities and, and how much our communities have been reliant on the chiropractic care that we've given them, whether it's been from their, you know, mental, emotional, you know, physical well-being, ranging from, you know, acute pain, tenderness, all the way up to actually just being able to come in, lie down on the bench, offload, uh, you know, and, and move through that kind of healing process. So, you know, we chose the, the, the theme Adjust and Thrive really because it's not just about, you know, our, our, our communities adjusting, uh, you know, being adjusted and thriving themselves. It's also about chiropractors. You know, there are a lot of chiropractors have been under a lot of pressure over the last year, 18 months. And actually, 
you know, what we do with our hands is so important that we can adjust and we can thrive and we can, you know, be rewarded for that good service we give to our communities. And I think that's really important to um, to remember in these times of challenge that, you know, what we what we bring, you know, through the power of the adjustment, through the power of our, what we do in our practices is really important. So I, uh, I, I had an opportunity to uh, to speak last year online and I'm speaking again. So thank you so much for the invitation. Two years in a row. I'm very grateful. So I know the event is amazing. I know the event is first class, but for the chiropractors, the students who have not participated yet on the Edinburgh lectures, what should they expect? Well, this year we've got some amazing speakers ranging from obviously yourself um, to Dr. Claudia Anrig talking pediatrics. We've got Brad Gawaki and we've got Dr. Um, Monique Andrews talking neurology. So there's a variety of kind of different themes. There are different kind of topics we were looking at, you know, things that, that are pertinent to us in practice, as well as um, obviously communication, business skills, etc. I think what we do well with the Edinburgh Lectures is we bring different people from kind of different parts of the chiropractic universe, um, you know, together. So we've got some speakers from the UK, which, you know, many, you know, of your um, viewers perhaps in, in the US and, and across the globe maybe haven't seen before. We also try and give people the, the opportunity to get on our stage and, 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 you know, to bring their message. A lot of people have got some, you know, fantastic messages to, to, to bring to um, to chiropractic audiences as well as obviously further afield and I think it's really important to allow them to have that safe space to to you know to to tell their story and to tell their their, their chiropractic um, kind of journey as well uh, and one of the things that you can do obviously the the lectures will be recorded so you don't have to watch them live if you're in west coast us and there's eight hour time difference you don't have to get up at uh, one in the morning to watch us and um, starting off at 9 a.m so the lectures will be recorded and they will be you know available for download and viewing you know indefinitely but i think the main thing for us is that you know it's about bringing that worldwide chiropractic community together and also from our point of view particularly it's about supporting the development of our new school because you know we we try to educate we try to empower we try to inspire but we also really need um you know to raise these funds to allow this project to, to go on so we can start influencing you know i know roberto you you talk a, a lot about you know how we can you know use the power of word to influence well these lectures are re really using that power of word to influence future generations of chiropractors because ultimately that's what we're what we're working towards is is developing that that future and the future safeguarding of our profession moving forward over the years i love that um as a leader because you're a very well respected leader in the profession worldwide what has been your personal lesson since the last well let's call 16 17 months you personally dr ross yeah. Well, it's interesting because although I look really young and youthful, I am now, you know, as of the end of this month, 25 years in practice. And, you know, I think there's a few things, really. The first thing is not to to take anything for granted, um, because I think over the last, you know, it's very easy to, you know, to generally go through 23 and a half years in practice and feel that the world is great. So not to take anything for granted, because things can change very quickly and rapidly, as we've seen over the last kind of 16, 17 months. I think, you know, if you're looking at it from a business point of view, I think there are lots of business lessons we've learned. I mean, we were very lucky that, you know, despite the practices crashing because people weren't coming in to see you, um, we had a good base and a good solid kind of financial base as well as business base. But I think the main thing I've learned over the last, you know, 16, 17 months is just how important um, what we do is, you know, to our communities. I think when you look back at just how many people were just so grateful that we stayed open, so grateful that we were there to, to deliver the adjustment, so grateful that we were there with a gentle hand or a gentle word or supporting comfort. I think that's what we bring as chiropractors. We bring, you know, yes, the physical part of the adjustment, but we bring the mental, emotional, communicative part of that adjustment um, to patients as well. And I think that's really is just, you know, what an important role we have to to play as chiropractors and why we have to, you know, keep growing and generating and developing, you know, our future generations of chiropractors because ultimately who's going to adjust our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids if we don't look at uh, kind of developing, you know, these these future future warriors going forward. So awesome, uh, Dr. Ross. Thanks so much for sharing your time today. Uh, I know you're just you're practicing. Uh, 
Uh, I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Again, guys, if you're watching us uh, June 12th, uh, next weekend, there's a link below. Go get your ticket, support the mission, uh, support the upcoming schools. And I remember, I think uh, the first time we met was uh, two years ago. I remember you were here talking about the school and the vision. And now it's happening. Yeah, I got goosebumps. So congratulations for all the focus and the energy and the resilience and the implementation to make that vision a reality. Thanks so Thank much, Dr. Ross. Thanks for your time and thanks for your continued support, Roberto. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.